Hello, welcome to Vintage Hop Rhythm Essentials. Today I want to talk about the old time slap. You must have heard this technique. Of course we're using the tongue and we're slapping to the left of the note we want to play which gives us like this partial chord or group of notes which then gets subdued by the slap and we get this sort of crunch so obviously you might hear that in old timey first position tunes and to practice this let's just take a four blow i'm tongue blocking with my tongue to the left of the hole of course it's on hole three And I'm lifting the tongue and putting it back. Simple as that. We can do it on the beat or off the beat. At the moment, let's do it off the beat. And I'm going like one and two and three. And so I'm like mm, slap, mm, slap. Tongue's coming on and going, coming off and going back on. Just do what my tongue's doing. So you can hear that, I get this little partial chord. So of course any melodies in first position you can play like that. And I'm not going to teach you when the saints, you all know that starts on the four blow, goes up, so, 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 you'll work it out. Any simple melodies are really good, like start with melodies you know. Once you can get that down, then of course we can switch to second position. And then it gets a bit more fun, we can play stuff like Old Joe Clark. Very good old timey tune to start the slap on because we've got those ba 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 ba. The melody is very on the beat or unsyncopated. Another great melody would be the old timey tune John Henry. Here, there, I'm really accentuating those slaps on the offbeat. Now, where this starts to get trickier is when melodies become more syncopated or off the natural strengths of the beat. A great example would be the old time tune Cindy, which I play in second position. So, once we start to add some slaps. what happens here is you can probably hear I start to abandon this thing of playing the slaps on every offbeat really consistently you could do that and that's absolutely fine but there's no rules here sometimes I might do it on the beat and sometimes I might put a chord in instead of a slap So you can hear sometimes I'm doing the slaps on the beat, off the beat, and I'll just construct these around the melody any way I want to, to accentuate certain parts of the melody. And you don't have to stick on the beat, off the beat, you can mix it up nicely. I haven't had the bones out for a while, this is a fun tune to play bones on. An example of where I move the slap to on the beat would be my own tune, Hammond's Place, obviously the harmonica barge theme tune. I made another lesson a few years ago just on this groove, but here I slap on the beat and then I do a little chord chug and this was actually inspired by Chicago Blues, Little Walter and those kind of shuffly styles, but I moved it onto a straight pattern. I'm on a B flat harp here. You see the slaps go off the beat later. 
that's in a different section, but when I'm on the A section, I'm slapping in that two draw. Tom going into one, so that's very effective. A nice way to practice this technique, just practice the tongue going in. See, I start with playing one and two together and then the tongue jams in hole one to leave two. So with any of these techniques, when you're learning new techniques, start nice and slow. Maybe just take one hole, whether it's a four blow, or a four draw. Start to add the rest of the melodies. And there's different approaches for learning this. Some people like to see it written down with tabs, as you'll see in many of my in-depth lessons, everything's clearly marked out with the slaps. Other methods can be tapping your foot and trying to get the slap in time with the foot, setting a click track to the off the beat or on the beat and locking the slap in with uh, the click track. So there's many different ways to get this. And this is a wonderful technique to get into your repertoire. So do let me know in the comments how you're getting on with the old time slap. Do you already use this a lot? What are your favorite tunes to play this on? I'd love to hear about it. And I'll see you for another lesson very soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.